Terry, there any positives that you can take from this afternoon? Yeah, I think the, the main positive is that yeah, we're still four points away from getting ourselves out of the relegation zone. Uh, I think that's the main one after today. But again, we started quite well, but on the back of uh, their game midweek and a lot of players you know, being so clinical uh, when they took that first chance, um, which was a gift really uh, from us, it seemed to be an uphill battle after that. And you can see how um, Crawley might have been done for five. We had to sort of ride our luck at times, we had to readjust our shape. Again, coming up here without our captain and then AJ getting injured and us having to readjust again like we had to do at Crewe. It seems that the, the beginning of such a good week is ending with a, a real sort of tough blow and um, for us it's just trying to go through and Saturday when we got that result, we sort of kept everyone on the pitch and the next two games we've struggled to do that. So um, we've got to try and keep our, our better players fit and bitterly disappointed today but in the bigger picture of things we've got to make sure that we don't get too down from this we've got a home game next which has been a positive for us for the at the beginning of the week we need to make sure that we've got a real good working week next week and we need to change that around you mentioned in the build-up fine margins and it was it was it was one of those that uh, that led to the opening goal you were riding a bit of pressure but there, I mean there was no real um, crush wasn't being tested too much and then yeah as you say it was a real gift yeah, I mean, it's sort of gone back to what we was doing earlier on in the season where, you know, I think Arthur pulled off sort of two or three very good, excellent saves, in fact. And then the one that we expect him to take is just a little bit of a parry. I think his finger popped out when uh, when he went to collect it and it just sort of skewed away from him and they and they pick up the rebounds. You can't sort of legislate for that. And then it became a little bit more of a, an uphill task. And, yeah, disappointed with today, but... As we said before, it's four points and we just makes all these other games that are coming up, especially against Gillingham, absolutely massive. And now, as you say, a home game and a, and a chance to put it right and get yourself a little bit closer to uh, to the safety zone. Yeah, definitely. I was, again, it's it's a thing of the players as well. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to encourage them. We're trying to get them to do the right things. And at times, it does look a little bit sloppy when they're giving passes away in their own third. But we can't just go and kick it long. We've got to try and build up the play and build through the thirds. And um, we've got to be brave in doing that. Uh, but we've definitely got to be more resilient than what we was today. AJ uh, came off in the first half straight down the tunnel. How is he? Yeah, I think he got a bit of a kick on Tuesday night and he said he was feeling OK and uh, got through training on Thursday and got through a light session yesterday. But as soon as the game started, and I think he'd done a couple of jumps and twists and turns. And we, I think the opening sort of 15 minutes, we looked really lively. Uh, we, 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 Gozzi got into some good positions, but you know, as we said before, we're, we're still creating chances, but we're coming up with the same problems of not scoring, and then we've conceded sloppy goals. But just want to sort of let our supporters know that we're, you know, we're definitely up for the fight. We're definitely still carrying on. Um, we're going to dust ourselves down. Work really hard this week, and we've got one or two that we that we're quite close on in bringing to help this group of players because they definitely need a little bit of help and. Um, we're going to be ruthless in what we're doing now because time has come to be ruthless. And you give people a chance, and they've had chances. This was, um, you know, under Gary Johnson as well. And there seemed to be like a new bit. They've rose to the challenge a little bit, but now we've got to be ruthless in the way that we pick these squads. Good news is we've got um, Joel Grant coming back this week, along with um, Liam Davis, that will be coming back involved with the squad. And as I said before, we'll be we'll be gaining one or two as well this week. And um, We've got to push on now, and especially with these home games, we've got to make sure that we make them count. Craig Eastman was mentioned on Thursday. Is he one that's likely to be one of those one or two? Yep, he's, he's very close to, to agreeing something with us, and uh, he'll bring that added experience. And um, there'll, be, uh, there'll be definitely at least one or two more who come Ginny.